but the saddest thing when I, you know obviously as the weeks go by you you read about um what he's doing you see what he's doing you see how unique he is sean and the fact that he was born in leeds starts to grate in your mind oh, doesn't yeah. it uh, <laughs> yeah. imagine imagine Much kane coming off the oh. Kane's coming off of him to play in uh, sort of ten, and 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 Erling is up front for England in the upcoming World Cup. I mean, you know, he's Norwegian. He wants to be Norwegian. That's I totally get that. But there is a part of me that goes, "Yeah, he's born in Leeds, this lad." Amazing. Um, Can you imagine and, and, the debate we'd have had though, Dan? Just say he was eligible for England. We're going to this World Cup. We'd be talking about does he start as the main striker? Uh, with you'd Kane have to Bay? play three five two. You'd have to play- well, You'd did have you to not play, play three, Kane five, slightly two. deeper though? Yeah, because but, but, he quite... but two, yeah, yeah. yeah, two. Just play yeah, two. He, Kane You'd could... have to play them both though. There yeah. wouldn't be a question of one yeah. under study yeah. and the other. No, no, Kane, Kane coming towards the ball and yeah, Erling exactly. heading towards the far post. Uh, oh. um, yeah. And we'd I mean, win the World I, Cup. Uh, wouldn't we? We'd have oh, won the Euros. Sean, what, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, we would, yeah. Uh, um, we, the England would have won the Euros. Um, just a, a serious <laughs> point, Sean. Uh, give, given how much money is involved in football now, mm. um, and and the number of people you see who have at least one, who, who's, whose dad, you, you know, whose dad is an ex-professional footballer, and some of that is cultural, they just know how to get into football clubs and all the rest of it. I remember when Spurs won the 1999 League Cup, I think they had four sons of ex-professional players. So there's something genetic going on. Mm. In his case, they've added further f- genetic material from a very athletic mother. Mm. Somewhere, probably in Germany, some director of football will be thinking, right, who can we get to breed with somebody else to produce these super footballers? And I'm not joking. He's just, um, some of the pictures you get through on the night when you see him score a goal like that one when he flew through the air and put it in the back of his heel the other day. And you just know he's going to produce an amazing photo which he can use on the back page. And then there'll be another one of him diving across full length that you can use across a spread in the paper. But we are seriously getting into a debate now where we're going... How many did he score today? Just one. Hmm. Is that a back page? Is that really the back page lead? Is, you're no. getting to the point where you say, well, it's got to be a, it's got to be a hat trick now, at, at least, uh, to to make to, to generate the big headlines because nobody's any sp- surprised anymore when he gets one in each game. He's just, I've never seen anything yeah. like him. You've, you, you know, no, we've no, all he, fought football for years, played it in Danny's case. Obviously, I haven't seen a player like him ever. I can't think of one. Can you? I guess I guess the nearest uh, for me will be so-called fat Ronaldo, the real Ronaldo. That ability to to out physique people over the first four or five, mm. well, before he had his injury, uh, that's the one he reminds me of. But of course, he he's he's better in the air. He's better at other things than Ronaldo was. Danny, you know professional footballers. We're all sitting here going, well, nothing can stop him now. He's unstoppable. He's in the best team and he's the best player. I bet professional defenders don't think like that. I bet they're all thinking in their mind, right, I'll do this and I'll do this and I'll do this. Or are they quaking in their boots? Well, I think there's definitely a, there'll be a respect stroke fear of, of someone like him because he's got that magic knack of getting in positions where you think you've got him and he'll he'll find a minimal bit of space in the box. The great thing about him is his ability to be disciplined enough to play the position to score the goals. What I mean by that is, even at Man City, when when he's playing against a team that's dropping off and he's had two touches in half an hour, he doesn't get bored of staying on the shoulder, running in behind and going and getting himself in the box ready for that cross, ready for that Cancelo ball, ready for that De Bruyne ball. He doesn't get bored of it and his ego doesn't let him go, I've got to go and get a few touches and look good. His ego doesn't get the better of him. It's a magical talent. People like Lineker was a great example mm. of someone who never came looking for the ball. He'd stay up there and get, you know, great strikers don't mind not being involved in the game that much. They just want to score goals. And I think in that City side, because of the creativeness, I think it's very hard to stop because if you stop De Bruyne, then you've got Gundogan, you start Gundogan, Bernardo Silva, you've got Foden, you've got Greel, you've got creativity all over the place arguably mm. the most creative squad in world football maybe some people would suggest PSG but I think City have players on the pitch who more than more than a couple who can open you up at any time you've got to be an absolutely great striker to be allowed to do that because I can imagine you've been in teams where you think well he's alright as a striker but he's not doing enough this mm. one he he's earned the right to just hang around in the box if you like and put them in but I'll bet you got annoyed with ones who thought they were good strikers, but they didn't do enough. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, what you mean is he, he's because he, he's in such a good team, he can do that bit yeah, and yeah, look like yeah. he's. And really, you want him to do a bit more. Yeah. Well, 
quickly though what happens in football as you well know for watching it for years the, the, the clever great players quickly get involved in good teams mm. so you don't really ever yeah. have that comparison you know it's how oh, could he do it could he do it playing for Brentford you know it's it he doesn't have to because he's been so good since he was 17. He's never going to yeah. play for Brentford. A bit like, you know, w w could Michael Owen have done it for Bolton? It doesn't matter. He was banging goals in all over the world for England at 18. He's and the great, play. players, the great players that he's playing with, Danny, they will understand. Um, they, they, they will do the extra 2% of running they have to do because they've got someone who's going to bring fruition and finish and polish to the, to the masterpiece that they've been cooking up. You need someone to put the ball over the line.